I love that music. This is Jamaican-inspired codfish fritters made from scratch, microdac style. So easy, really, so very easy. The ingredients, codfish, baking powder, scallion, tomatoes, onion, for starters, and then, of course, we're also going to need the basic things such as black pepper and salt. We have to have those in everything we cook, I think, anyway. And, of course, the codfish. And flour. First of all, you want to cook the codfish for about five minutes. Then you want to drain off the water and shred the codfish. Then, then, half of a tomato, a big one, and some onions. Both you want to cut them up fine, as small as you can get them. Next, one and a half cups of flour in a bowl, to which you're going to add one teaspoon of baking powder. And mix that well. Mix that very well. Next, of course, you're going to put your tomato and your scallion inside the flour mixture with the baking powder and mix that very well. In the end, you're going to have something that looks something like this. That's perfectly normal. By then, it's about five minutes since your codfish has been cooking. It's not really cooking. You're just getting the salt out. That's all you're doing, really. So remove the codfish from the hot water cool it down and then shred it into little pieces like this. After you've shredded the codfish, which is about mm, maybe eight ounces, six to eight ounces of codfish, you want to add it to your mixture of flour, baking powder, and of course the tomatoes, scallion, and so forth. The other half of the tomato, the scallion, and notice a half of a scotch bonnet pepper. A half. That's pretty potent stuff, okay? So the other half of the tomato, about three, four stalks of scallion, and half of a scotch bonnet pepper. You want to put it into a blender. Blend it any way that you can. As for me, I use a little hand blender. It's kind of messy, but it did get the job done. The idea is we want to get these flavors in the codfish fritters. It was messy, but it did work, and that's the important thing. Now that you have blended it all together, you finally want to add it to your batter mixture. Remember now, the codfish is already in there. You already added the tomato and the skillet and everything. Now you pour it into the batter mixture and make a batter. See? That's what you do. The batter will be the consistency of, say, a pancake batter. The important thing is that you make a nice batter. Once your batter is done and your oil is nice and hot, then smooth sailing from now on. Just be very careful because that oil is hot. So you put them in one tablespoonful at a time, and you may want to flatten them out as you put them in. Personally, you don't want to overcrowd them. I never place more than four in at a time. That's, that's plenty, really. It gives them some room. Now that they're in, about every minute or so, a minute and a half or so, you'll want to flip them over until they get to be nice and cooked all the way through, nice and brown. At the end of which, of course, you want to put them on, on some paper towel to drain them off on paper towel. And then, you're done. You made some codfish fritters from scratch. As always, don't forget to share your comments and suggestions. And thank you so very much for watching my videos. I appreciate it.